Welcome everyone to Wolf on the video. Uh, back from a long break, I suppose. You yeah, haven't really seen many videos on my channel uh, in the past few weeks, but here we are with the new plane. This is the P63A5, and uh, well, here's the interesting thing. So far, all the, the planes I've showcased on my channel have been American, and so is this. And what's so great about American planes for me is that. At the beginning, I don't. Oh, 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 in a battle. At the beginning, you don't really like American planes. I don't. I find personally because they are difficult to play. But then you realise how to play them, and then they get very, very good. Yeah. So yeah, would I recommend getting this plane? Um, if you have a better alternative, fine. But this is this is a good plane. Although I would have got the P forty seven D twenty five. But I already have the P47 in the German secretary, so maybe not. Let me just pull down the volume. So, as you can see, begin with this plane has a tricycle landing air configuration. Mm, you don't really see many other planes with this at this tier. You do see, of course, them in jet planes, of course, blues in jet planes, and yeah, but this is obviously not a jet plane, it's, it's uh, very far from it. Armament wise, this plane has four 23 millimeters and a 37 minute. Right, let's just uh, let's start this off again. It has four 50 cals, 12.7 millimeters, and a 37 millimeter. And due to the gun nerf, which no one really likes, no one, then we don't know, we know why it was introduced because of the noobs, idiots. Uh, yeah, those aren't effective, as in, they are effective, but you might need to aim quite a bit. This is says to him that I cannot talk today. The 37mm, on the other hand, is uh, quite good, but it's difficult to aim. And sometimes I find with the 50 cars, you can actually destroy like pillboxes with them if you have it on stealth. At least, uh, that's the only one I tested stealth. It might be able to also to destroy the pillboxes with something else, but I don't know. So. Climbing. Does this plane climb well? Answer is yes, it climbs very well. Thank you. That's the end of the no. I love planes that can climb well, and unlike those American planes, this plane can actually climb pretty competitively. As you can see, uh, I'm being outclimbed by a biplane. That's just embarrassing. Let's put it up here slightly. The optimum climbing speed, I believe, is around 140 miles per hour, but I'm not too sure of that. But yeah, this plane can climb incredibly, incredibly well. As you can see, even though the P-39 has also been steaming in the climb, but then again, it, it has started off before me. And the acceleration, as you saw on the runway, wasn't um, excellent. But yeah, maneuverability. Like American planes, it is pretty bad, I don't know, slow to maneuver in when have slow speed, but high speed, yeah, yeah, that it takes that box. It's not the most maneuverable, but it is, like I said, competitive. It's uh, it is half decent. What you also have is a very, very, very nice cockpit. It's amazing. I don't know what that says. I pull charging handle once, pull loading handle once, pull on six. Try press. Oh, wow. So yeah, it does have a very nice cockpit. In simulated battle, you would be able to look all the way around, except of course a very bad. But that's fine. And obviously, that's good. I mean, not many planes at this battle rating have uh, a uh, all round visible cockpit or oh, a tricycle landing, landing air configuration, which, if you're not used to using it, this gets slightly awkward because this plane is a tricycle landing air configuration, blah, blah blah, with a propeller. And like I said, not many planes actually have that. So today we've been. Um, I don't know whether we've been down to the up to because I haven't actually mem bothered to memorize the battle ratings. But even you are fully up to it, again, your climbing is incredibly competitive. The last play battle I've played in this, I have got I got two kills. Not this one. Oh, we lost. Wow. It was a, it was a great. No, never mind. Oh. Oh. Hmm. Time to die. Oh. Now the P-39 is closer to that Halifax. Halifax is a new bomber added in 1.59. So 
Yeah, I think he'd go and he'd kill him, but I'll be there just in case he doesn't kill him and I got a pass from him. I mean, fair enough. I mean, he lost his chance. Is he going? Is he going? Is he going? Uh, I've got the shots on him. Okay, fair enough. Fine. If you still want to. Ooh, good effort. Well done. Uh, yeah, 339 is also a good plane. The thing is, it's rank 2 and this is rank 3, so I have. Um, I can research planes, it says here, efficiently up to. It does, did you see? Anyway, it says, well, it doesn't say. It. Well, that's, sorry. Max res vehicle research efficiency 1 to 5. Uh, waiting, oh, uh, rank 1 to 5, and that plane of the tier 2 is. One to four. Look, I'm tired. Okay, yeah. I'm also out of practice for recording. But yes, the maximum battle rating, uh, maximum rank is rank four for this plane. You can of course rank. You search rank five planes, but you, you won't get very far. Oh, that was that was half decent. I'm not going to lie. Now, as many planes do, this plane does compress with high speeds. So I'm just going back up to convert my energy to altitude and back down again p38 is a large target i'll probably go for him he's also a very dangerous target and all right how did i miss that okay sorry about that that's what i said about the 37 millimeter won't see being hard to aim but it's different it's weird for me anyway i'm not used to it 37 millimeter i'm used to the i say used to more accustomed to the MiG 15s. Oh, but there we are. There we are. When it does hit, you do get uh, explosions and fire, and I wouldn't say sparks, but uh, fireworks, yep. And I'm not a American, so I don't celebrate 4th of July. That was the beginning of the. Anyway, never mind. Let's, let's not go into that. Let's go for this course here. I know we do have a course here behind me, however. I am outrunning him because I am actually in a half decent plane, which isn't horrible a climber, isn't isn't a horrible turner, which actually has uh, some ammo uh, weapons. Oh, yeah, of course he is now realizes that actually he can't outrun everyone on this team and critical hits, lost cell control. Okay, that was awkward. Okay, but yeah, this is what you will find you will be doing because 37 millimeter, you don't have that much ammo. Uh, 50 cals, you don't have the most ammo, you have a fair amount of ammo. In. Oh, there we are. The Spitfires are going to be one of your main uh, enemies. You just literally. Yeah. You'll be facing Spitfires up to Mark 9s, but you'll also be going to face 2Bs, 2As, I don't think 2As. I guess, of course, for them in the squad, but we don't count that. But yeah, she can get a third kill on this. And two kills in this plane is actually quite decent. It's like I said, it is difficult plane to get used to. Once you do get used to it, of course, it's uh, much easier to use. Ah, spark, spark, spark. <clears throat> Thank you. And this pit's fire is now above me. Spit fire on your tail is something that uh, in real life you'd uh, eject. Or you try something incredibly, incredibly fancy. Ooh. As you see, I don't have much ammo for my 50 cows compared to other planes. Stop, 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 stop. Oh. Okay, again, Mikolasis, you know, I I I'll live with that. Now, Russians in this plane have two air fuels directly here. So I will actually be landing quite soon because I. Oh dear, oh dear, I'm not going to fight that, it's good, I, I'm, I'm landing, which area feel is close, I think A, but it's not that it's closer, but that it's actually closer to my allies, so they can cover me. Now, why am I returning back to base? As you notice, I am low on ammo, and also on fuel, I take 20 minutes for this, uh, I die already, okay, I take 20 minutes for this plane, I can take 30. But I don't so live with it, okay? I am not. Let me wait. 
they're getting mobs. Yeah, yeah. We, we are probably going to win this game. But the point is, sorry about that. The point is, <coughs> my apologies. The point is, yes, I am going back to base because low fuel. I say low fuel. Eight minutes is actually half decent, especially since I'm using wet. I can just disengage wet. Go on for like thirty percent. And yeah, I can glide back to base. Really, this plane isn't the best glider, but. I could alternatively just land <clears throat> because, like I said, you do really want to be hitting people with the oh dear, 37 millimeter, not the 25. Please don't, please slow down. We also find that this plane does not want to slow down when landing. Okay, here we are. Now I'm going to sort of to solve it. Right. Right. Okay. Yeah, this plane is incredibly awkward to fly to land anyway. You know how many times I've actually crashed whilst landing this. Thank you, automatic gear response. Thank you. But yeah, we're going to go around and land again because this plane just doesn't like to slow down. Which is typical American design because the Spitfire is having quite a... Okay, uh, luckily I, I am going to now land and I am going to help out my teammates. Break brakes, okay. Why, why aren't the brakes working? Have I been even hit once? Why am I? Wait. What is this? This is ridiculous. Like, thank God for the tricycle. Oh dear. Please no. What's this? No, 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 no. Okay. <sighs> there is. Okay, right. I don't see how that happens. Like I did say, it is an awkward thing to land. There was the brakes don't work. It's like the bottom. Uh, it's embarrassing. It is embarrassing. But you might be asking, how much research points do you get? Well, we'll see. I just put this on, and I uh, yeah, let's see how much research points we get. I'm still blind to get a decent amount. I'm researching the LA5F. Let's get the LA5F and the yeah, AK3P Strong Russian. Uh, here. And then this. And my talisman this. Let me go. Let me go. 15. Let me go. 15. 17. Also, this has been down to. Uh, oh, the bass rating has been decreased for this plane. So, when I get it, expect to see some gameplay because this will actually be half decent to play. Ooh. But yeah. What else? There are loads of good planes in the Russian tech tree. Uh, this one is <laughs> it's embarrassing. Why? You might be thinking, why did Kaijin add this plane? Because beginning 6.3 or 6.7. 6, 7, right, math rating 7, math rating 8. I don't hit your again. But yeah. TU4 has messed up the game. But that's fine because I mean I actually have um, I once played in the Spitfire Mark Twenty Two if you don't that soon and the T four just ruined the game. There were those that were being spanned out because why wouldn't you want to play T four T U four? It's an amazing plane. It's basically invincible and because everyone knew it was invincible, no one engaged it and they just bombed the airfield. So yeah, so we have seemed to be seem to be. Up to, up to, I don't know, but yeah. Also, watch out for my channel for more Russian games, uh, Russian planes, because I haven't locked quite a few and haven't played them all. Well, I played a few, have actually played little Russian. I mean, you can see, look, service record. I've played the P60 the most. Second, not yet, my T. 
Yeah, come the end, I-16. I-16 is the beautiful plane. You can actually see how many planes I've killed. I mean, the only plane I haven't killed anything is in the Ak-9T. So, yeah, 9T. I have a 1 to 1 KD, which is that's, that's embarrassing, actually. I don't, I don't, that is uh, pretty, pretty embarrassing because this plane is amazing. And, yeah. So, like uh, I said, this plane is an amazing climb, and what we will find though is sometimes your team doesn't climb, and that's not because uh, they're American teams and they are horrible and they are bad and they don't know what to do, but rather because uh, they have low, al low altitude planes. So, yeah, that is fine as long as they know what they're doing. And Russian planes are really <laughs> what's the name? Mum spelt incorrectly, but yeah, they do know what they're doing most of the time. Like, let's see, uh, Mr. Uncle, he's level 30 captain, just like me, and obviously, we all know that I'm the very best pilot they're ever joking. So, let's see, where is he? Oh, he's a PEA, I don't even know what I'm talking about, right? Kazanmak, yeah, can I be? He should know what he's doing. Well, he has a bomb. Uh, Yak 9 B has bombs, so we really count. Yes, your mum. Fine. Yak 9. <laughs> you have to learn somehow. Sorry. But yeah. So at the moment, we are climbing for this area. Like uh, you saw before, this is where everyone in the Allied team goes. That is also where sometimes the bombers go. Although the bombers do usually go around in this direction for that base, and also we have this. Is this map with the thing? Oh no, Spain is map with the light tanks and stuff. But yeah, you do find uh, bombers going in that direction over there. I'm not going to go over there because I have better things to do. I have a, like I said, 300 times booster. So the common is 306, which is percent. Three times as much. Is it plus 306 or just 306? Plus three. Okay, is that four times as much? I don't actually know how this works. We have to calculate. Let's see if we finished it. No. I have to ask items. Yeah. This plane does have an Allison engine which tends to. performance tends to severely decrease after. 4,000 meters of altitude, so this is a I'm just going to stop there because I well, I'm going to not going to stop there, but I'm going to climb uh, far less there because the fact is you don't want to be caught out, even though this is a boom and zoom fighter. But, like, for instance, the Mustang, which also video on my channel, haha, <laughs> yes, bug, yeah, that is also uh. The also has an Allison engine, the P-47 doesn't, and it's, the P-47 is actually a great plane. If only they put cans on it, the 50 cals nowadays, nah. Right, should I dive on the Spitfire? It is being engaged by the Ak, I'm going to fight the Spitfire behind. Yeah, there was a P-51 I saw earlier. We take the uh, crowd for that. Firefly, ooh, fancy. It's Firefly, fire, ooh. There was a dot over there. But yeah, we have two dots over here. I'm just going to go down because I know that I can boom and zoom effectively whilst the low altitude players engage them in low altitude dogfighting. So I am going to take a risk here. Spits fire over here. It's going directly up. I don't know what he's doing. Like, okay, fine. Hit him. I'm not going to really get a kill though. That's, that's not, that wasn't a killing kill. And you might have noticed that I put stealth in my 50 cal. 50 cal. And that is because I aimed the 37s, not the 50 cals. And since they both had the same color, color. Ah, damn it. Why? 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 Did, did you see that spark? That was a Tintinatus spark. Okay. He knows what he's doing. Thank you. 
there you are. Can assist half the half decent. I mean, you never know. In this battle, it's always a gamble when. It's always a gamble when you play. Oh, that's the thingy. Thunder League P forty P fifty one. So. So it's always is a gamble when you put on an RP boost or a Silver Lines boost because you never know how you're going to play that match. So kill assist, I'll take it. I'm still going to get a whole load of XP for that. And so you know, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. But yeah, and this is what you will find: you will get a lot of kill assists because the 50 cals do get a see kill assist. 50 cals do get, uh, do do a bit of damage, not too much, but they still do enough so that you'll get a kill assist. Ooh. Okay, right. <clears throat> so we are now going to go for the Corsair. The Corsair is uh, playing that uh, is easy to destroy me, honestly, seriously. <laughs> Corsair. Sorry, one second. Yeah, like I said, the Corsair. Ooh, oh, I thought that was an F9F. F. I would fucking yeah, it's F6F, F, which is uh, ooh, ooh, I don't know. You, what you will find also is that as you are playing the Russians, as you are playing Russians against usually sometimes allies, there are going to be some people who don't know what they're doing. Let's say. What is he? What is he doing? What the hell? So people like this corsair, who think it's smart to bomb a base, even though they don't have enough bombs to do. I mean, what? What the hell? Okay, okay. It's now killing AA in the base. Let's see how many points does he have? Tomasi has more than me, but uh, after I kill him, then I have to hit. Him. Oh they are actually beating us up. And I want to win. Did I win the last match? Did we did we even know we lost? Okay, right. You will find you lose a lot as well. Against the allies, that's embarrassing. This Corsair is still unaware of my well, I don't know he's unaware, he just doesn't want to fight me. And I need to go back to base because my engine is damaged. And that's annoying, embarrassing. But what's his awesome person? Yes, he doesn't. What is he doing? He didn't even try to turn. Okay, I'm going to try to land as well. Okay, now, now he's turning, but it's too little too late. I mean, what is he doing? No, stop sparking, please. Just stop. No. Why did it spark? Okay, now, now he's turning, now he's turning, he's making it uh, more difficult, slightly, anyway. See, the thing is, if a Corsair is a bad plane, then don't play it. Don't, just... And... At least try to do something. There we are, he's dead. Uh, okay, I'm going to need for landing because I need to repair and get some ammo and everything. And also fuel. How is this? Not good. I am one of the only two fighters left. Where's the other fighter? He's also coming into that. Okay, right. Not good. Okay, it's just. This is an IA 185, which is a good bit. Alright, oh dear. Right, I'm just going to land. Oh dear. That's horrible. Uh. Right, hopefully the I-185 can support me. Okay, right, it's good. He's... You never know. Alright. I have landed properly this time, which is amazing. Okay. 
Uh, me, I'll cover you. So, yeah. And I have a decent, half decent, uh, that crew training on this. Oh dear. This is actually incredible. I don't know. Okay, right. It's okay. Half decent, well, not that actually great crew training. Not as well as my German or my British. But yeah, so I repaired fairly quickly. I suppose. Where is he? Okay. I wouldn't land yet. I wouldn't land yet. I wouldn't also shoot. Please don't, please don't, please don't. Okay, right. Okay, right. We do have a crisis at the moment. We have a. I'm not even I'm not even fast enough to. He literally has all the cards. So what are we going to do? We are going to circle around the airfield. <coughs> Sorry, my throat. Just so we have the cover of our AA. Now, this isn't a bad move, by the way. As you can see, he really does have all the advantages over me. He is far more movable, can climb better. I don't know how much ammo he. Oh dear. That's the second plane. That is not good, right. What should we do? Okay, at least we have some PE8s going to bomb the A spot. Oh, five dice dead. That's good, right. I'm just climbing. The I-185 has taken off. It's good, we need to stay with him. We are both boom and zoomers. So, hopefully we will be able to, I don't know, outclimb the enemy. We have both have good climb rate spots. Spitfires. It's a difficult world, especially uh, there was a Spitfire Mark 9 there. Okay, hopefully the PAs will be able to bomb the airfield when the Spitfire is still there because... Oh, that's the phone. And I'm back, so... Sorry about that but as you can see we are climbing and for the i don't know minutes i was away i am now up to 3000 uh alt meters of altitude which is this plane is amazing it is actually amazing uh i mean it does does take a bit of getting used to like i said 50 cals barely do anything if you're lucky you might get a critical hit like i got in the last game but really most of the time you won't be getting anything with the 50 cal. So 7mm, if it doesn't spark, of course, it, you're, yeah, you're dead. As you can see, I am now climbing, because I need an altitude advantage. Scanning the horizon. No one there, so we're going to go to the last known location of the enemy, which is not here. But we can also see another enemy over there. Now, unfortunately, the Allies do win this game by ground targets if we wait too long. We do, however, have two bombers currently, um, and one of them is over there, Mr. Uncle. Spitfire is at the same attitude as me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag him low. And to drag him low so the I-185 can help me engage it. Unless I could just go for a um, head-on attack, kill him, or well, injure him, crit him. No, the 37 millimeter. Quote, that that is all. I mean, for the 30, oh dear, he is going for the PE8. Right, the tactics have changed. We are now going to. Oh dear. There seem to be four players in our vicinity against two Russians. So what I'm going to do, uh, hopefully the I-185 dates the guy, um, and hopefully, okay, all right, he's going on for a head-on, which I am not going to do, not because I can't head on him, but because I have the advantage. Mark five beat drop. He's going down. Going to turn around. And yeah, sorry mate, don't play with me, do you? A lucky little idiot. I'm just going to run away because I can't outturn him. The I-185 is uh, 
six of the other guys, which is good. And he's down. Great. So what we are going to do is we are going to go up. I should be able to outrun him, I don't know why I'm not. I'm not going to turn yet. Right, I am going to turn so I am above my friend. Okay, there is another plane on the approach. I believe that is also a Spitfire. Please, no, not yet, not yet. Don't, don't close in yet. Don't, don't, don't be in engaging distance yet. He isn't good. And the Spitfire is, I don't know. There is another pain, even though there are. He is on a lower altitude than us, so we do have advantage there. We are out on the Spitfire. The I-185 is coming in closer, which is good. He still needs to get quite a bit of altitude though, and I'm not really going to let go of my altitude yet. I will soon, when I dive down for the other pits for now. The other guy on the airfield looks quite heavy like a bomber. So, yeah. We're going to now turn for the Spitfire. I don't know whether he's landed and has cannon, so... Ammo, rather. Good, there we are. Good, now we have another Spitfire to go after. Sheesh, this is actually quite intense. Uh, is he still on fire? Yeah, oh, oil's oh, ouch. Yeah. Great, now we have another plane that does not look like a fighter to me. So I'm going to go for there. We have three planes left. I have a blind hunt though. Oh, what's this? Oh, fancy. Something I'm not going to do. Oh, wait, I have, oh, I have quite a few actually. That's, that's amazing. Now, as you can see, I have got two kills and an assist. Two assists. Two assists. Yes, two assists. Right. I, have lost, I have lost sight of the bomber. That's not good. To turn around. You don't know where he is. Okay, time for the blind chance because I honestly. Right. Where is he? He is. New targets for eliminating have been. Okay. Well. Not much I can do about that because we are currently going to engage the Spitfire over his airfield. No, please don't be an idiot. Don't be an idiot. Plus, I don't have much fuel left. Uh, there is the bomber. Let's tell that in your. Behind. Right, the Spitfire is coming in. It will do exactly the same as I did with the other Spitfire, so let's go up. He's going to go down, down. He's going up now. What is he doing? He doesn't wait. Okay, now he is going to do what? What is he going to do? Okay, hit. Fair enough, he has effectively dodged me. Okay. I am going to pull back on the throttle just so I can serve ammo. Okay, he's fighting both me and the 185, so he is pretty dead. He's pretty dead. Now, I want to quickly kill him. Ah, oh, they captured to an A. That's not good. I want to kill him quickly so then our blind hunt can go for that other people. Right, 
unfortunately I am right over the airfield and I do not want to stay there so what we are going to do, I, what I'm going to do is so I'm going to attack him from this angle where is he? attack him from an angle where he isn't above his air so I push him away from the airfield basically right let's go the kill okay critical hit quoted okay basically what should happen now is that you have run out of ammo uh, fuel he's going back to base little idiots please no please okay right no I I don't want him to land there okay luckily we do have the bomber coming in because yeah, I don't want him to land whatsoever because he is critted and he is going to run out of fuel soon this will over oh that is oh dear it's just no, 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 no. How dare you kill my friend, you little idiot. Alright. Let's get back up again. Alright, this time we are not going to have any mercy on him. We're going to go low and slow, low and slow. Low and slow. Oh, he's a sea landing. Oh dear. Not good. For me or for him. Because I do not want to go in any ouchies. I'm not. Alright, there. And out we go, out we go, out we go, out we go. Ouch! Okay. <sighs> Alright, so who's the guy? Wait, have we, have we lost? Okay. Well, thank you for watching, everyone. I hope you've... <laughs> Alright, I hope you have a good time watching. This was P63A5. So, yeah, thank you for watching, everyone. And have... Ooh, ooh, battle trophy. Ooh, what a... Ah. Ooh, that was a talisman, wasn't it? Yes, it was. So, yeah, thank you for watching, everyone. Hope you have a good day. Goodbye. Damn, this is a oh, oh, look how much RP I got. I just researched this. Did you do here? Research this.